you know, why is it so many times the people who are the funniest deep down have a horrible sadness and, and the rest of us can't make them laugh? This is, to me, this tragedy is a reminder of how helpless I am many times in helping people with addiction and depression. But for the most part, people with depression can look forward to effective treatment. That's a, um, this is an important reminder that just like emotions wash over us, moods can wash over us, suicidal ideation can wash over us. And if you know someone having these sorts of symptoms, be with them. The connection with other people is exquisitely important in making this better and keeping them safe till these things pass. They always pass. They do. And so people can make it through these episodes, which indeed what, that's all they are is episodes, and get treatment and be fine. People are afraid of getting treatment for depression, but depression, sometimes treatment can just be talking or, or sometimes long walks or listening to classical music. It depends on the circumstance, but it has to be managed by a professional. Yeah. It's not something that just like some sort of blue mood that passes over you is going to be gone completely. This is a brain disorder. And this is the thing I think, Robin, that's so disturbing to me, is that we go, oh my God, how can somebody that makes us laugh so much have such a terrible condition? It's no different than him having had heart disease. It just happens to have affected a different organ. The organ is the brain. And he's left us with another important reminder is that there's a very complex and common interrelationship between medical problems, particularly cardiac problems and depression. People that have their chest opened up for cardiac surgeries often get severe depressions mm -hmm. because of the disrupted biology. We really don't fully understand it, but it's very common. I spent decades in a psychiatric hospital working there, and my primary job was sorting out the relationship between their people's medical problems and their psychiatric conditions, where there was always a profound and deep interplay. As the population ages, as we are all taking more medication for medical problems, we've got to have awareness of this and be clear that we discuss this with our caretakers and should we develop the brain disorder it's a brain disease of depression or addiction we'd be sure to speak up about it reach out about it and treat it systematically just like we would treat the illness related to any other organ